Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new C Sharp tutorial. So, in this tutorial we're going to go the extra mile and in our game here we're going to add in some inventories or our character some inventories and we're going to make it so you can pick up some stuff and add it to your inventory. Sounds difficult doesn't it? No, it's the simplest thing in the world honestly. So, we'll just have a recap of what we've done. We have a little um, main menu thing here um, if I can go and get magnifier again. So now you can see what we're doing. If we type in our password, YouTube and pass well, username YouTube password videos, click submit, we get this new box and we've got go back or game. Click game, we can move our character with WASD. Or if we press H and J we can control our health. We'll eventually get rid of that, that's just for testing purposes. So what I'm thinking is we had a couple of picture boxes up here which we'll be learning about in a minute. Um, we'll see four or five it doesn't matter yet and we're going to add like an apple here so you can collect it and when you collect it it adds it to there it is so simple honestly so we're going to get rid of this and that and we'll close most of these down so we don't need form and we don't need main menu we just need game here so we're going to open our toolbox up and make it stay open and close all these because I don't want these ones and click all forms and what I'm going to do is find picture box right there. So I'm going to drag it out here and then just make it a rough size. We could go to the properties if we so wish, which have disappeared. Sorry, it's a fresh install of Visual Studio. There, so properties. And what we'll do is we'll set the size here to, so it's equal, we'll say 64 and 64. So it's a rough, it's a nice bite size square. If you don't know what that means, just don't worry about it. So we'll stick it up here and that's already too big so I'm going to change it to 32 and 32. That's a lot better. So we can put it there and what we'll do is we'll call this IMV for inventory and we'll say 01. So you can say 00 if you want to start like an array but you don't have to. And one of my, I just copied and pasted and it decided not to paste. There we go. So we put number 2 here so IMV02 and I'm going to do it till I have 5 like so so here we have IMV03 IMV04 and finally IMV05 IMV05 and it's just occurred to me we probably should have set the image first but hey so what we're going to do is we need to think what image we're going to have as a default for those. So we need to go and get a 32-bit image. Well, a 32 by 32. So I've magically skipped to the world of Photoshop. Yeah, because I can. So I'm going to open it up. And right here, I'm going to set the width to 32 and the height to 32 and click OK. And you'll see when it loads, we get a blank 32 grid. Zoom in so we can see it. There we go. Move this magnifier, that's kind of annoying. So, what do we draw in this 32 grid? We can draw anything, but what I'm going to go for is get a grey, a nice lightish grey, like so. Fill it all. So, we've got the nice grey, and what I'll do is I'll double click the background, okay, I'll alt double click the background, then double click it. Alt double click gets it rid of a um, background layer thing. And I'm just going to go in a glow. And I'm literally just going to give it a darker grey in a glow. Not black, but grey. Um, we'll make it opacity full. We'll make the size about 1. Uh, this is going awful. Okay, I'll do it myself then. That'll be easier. I'll go to the pencil tool. And I'll change it to 3. And make the actual bush darker. That'll do there. Why is it lagging? Hmm. There. And that'll be my inventory. If I can zoom out so you can actually see it. There we go. So you can see it in the magnifier now. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Basic inventory. So I'm going to file, save as. And I'm going to save it in my C sharp directory. So here, I've got my directory, YouTube Tuts. If you go into the folder, also if you double click that file, you'll open your project. Go into the folder, and I'm going to make a new folder inside here. So, new folder, and I'll call it Images. Boom, and I'll put it in there. So in here, of course, I don't know how big this game's going to be. So here, I'll put 
um, GUI, for on-screen GUI. And I'm going to click this up here, and then Control c to copy, paste it into here, Control v it takes us to the folder. We can call this blank invert, IMV, we'll keep the same. And you can't use PSDs in C Sharp, so I'll change it to a JPEG because it'll be the smallest file type. If you want opacity, which we won't work on yet, choose PNG. Save and turn the quality up to full. Well, we could turn it to zero. There's no quality there. Actually, you can. Yeah, don't turn it. Uh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Get it as low as quality as you can, because then you save on room. It's great. We'll go full quality. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, so we've got that now. So what now what we need to do is make this an in Apple. That's it. 32 Apple again. So I'm going to get my circle. I'm going to go black for an outline. And I'm going to go green for an inner one. In fact, I want a red apple. You never see red apples. Let's have a red apple. So I'll drag a circle out. That looks awful. So we'll make the fill red. Boom. Set the size of it back on the circle to 3. That'll do. And then I'll get the black pencil, click delete, and make it a little stalk. Now it looks more like a cherry. It can be whatever it likes. So I'm going to set it to brown and then just literally paint inside of these lines because I'm a child. Boom. Uh, maybe even take a little bit out, uh, like a little chunk out of the apple. Because I think that might be cool. So, a chunk. That's not working. Get my eraser. Chunk, chunk. So it looks like it's been bit out of. We can go back to this paintbrush and just literally fill it in with black. Like so. So it kind of looks like there's a chunk being taken out of the apple. Pretty sure that's not meant to be brown. I can't remember what colour it's meant to be. But we'll delete the background layer. So we've literally just got that. Simple, right? And we'll go Control Alt S for save. We'll come back out of the GUI and we'll create a new folder called Food. And in here, I'll call it Apple. Save it as a PNG so we can eventually get transparency on it. So you can see straight through it. And we'll click Save. And we'll click Save. Right, that's that part of it done. So let's go back to C Sharp, because that was bad. It's not my Photoshop tutorial. So, back to C Sharp. We'll click our inventory. Can we click all of them? Yep. Control click all of them. Click the little arrow at the top if you can't see it. Move the dock. And you want to go to, in the properties, image or background images, it's whichever one you want. Click the little arrow, click choose image. And then you'll get this box here familiarize yourself with it, we might use it a lot. Click import and you can see go through the folders, images, GUI, click blank inventory, click open and click OK. And it'll load for a minute and then you'll see one of them's going on. So I'm going to repeat this for every single one but you will see it's now actually in the options menu. You can actually add it, you've actually added it to your resources. So what you can do is that dog's really annoying. Uh, the things I do for YouTube. But yes, so. La da 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 da. Nearly there. And we have an inventory. Perfect. Blank inventories. Yes, that really is 32 bytes. It's very small. So, the next thing we need to do is create the actual object. Simple again. So we'll click that and we'll paste it in here. And we'll literally just say put it here. That'll do. And I'm going to change the name of it to Apple. And I'm going to change the image of it to, have a guess, go on, you know, you all know what I'm changing it to. Food, apple. And I'll resize this window because I shouldn't have resized it. Click OK. And there's our apple. So, at the moment, we can't do anything. It won't do anything whatsoever. So we now have a game and we can move. But, one thing what we can't do is actually collect it because as you can see, it just goes right through it. That's not what we want. And you can see the transparency has worked perfect. So you can see straight through it. So if we, we can also walk through our inventory and stuff. So we need to set some boundaries as well. But we'll do that in another tutorial. So we've got the basics up for that. So now what we're going to do is make sure you can actually collect it. And this is really, 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 like, really simple. 
So we have a character here called player, and the apple is called apple. So every time we press a key, so in here, it moves him, correct? So every time we press a key. So instead of having a timer, which goes tick, 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 and having it check collisions all the time, that's just using up more process power than it needs. Why not only make it check when we press a key? That would work. We're not having any live action physics on. So we, we can just do that. So what we're going to do is these things here, private void, private void, partial class, they're called functions. So we're going to create a new function. So below this pri vo private void game key down key, or wherever you've put your key down, I'm going to type public void, and we want it to be public, because if we, if we wanted to call, literally, which I'll show you in a minute, this private void, it wouldn't work. So if you make it public void, you'll be able to call it, and you'll understand what that is in a minute. And we'll call it collisions. Two brackets, and then your squiggly brackets, like so. So if you look at this, it's got two brackets, but it's also got parameters in it, which we haven't covered yet. So in collisions here, we're going to basically say, if the player hits the apple, add the apple to the inventory, get rid of the apple. That simple. So we're going to type, if player dot bounds which basically gets the surrounding rectangle of the player because if you've noticed you can't have circle images you can only have square images unless you make the image circle so player dot bounds which is the rectangle dot intersects with I probably shouldn't have to explain that one but intersects means crash basically if it crash if the players collision crashes with then in brackets we don't put that domain in brackets. Nah. We put enemy. No, not enemy. Apple. There we go. Dot bounds. So if the player collides with enemy, the apple dot bounds. I keep saying enemy. Then you should see that's it. This is where we tell it what to do. It's that simple. One line. It's brilliant. I love it. A lot easier than Java, I will tell you that. So, in here, what we're going to put is, we'll get IMV inventory, we need to set the image. So if we go back to here and click on one of the first ones here, you can see the image, and not the background image, has took the blank inventory. So we're going to set IMV01 dot image equals... And since we're getting whatever image we hit, we can put apple dot, and have a guess, image. That easy. So, when we hit the apple, it will change IMV image 1. We will eventually have to check if it's already got something in it, but that's really simple, don't worry about that. Equals apple image. Next, we need to destroy the apple. So, we're not going to destroy it yet. What we're going to do is just set apple dot set not set, um, top, there we go, apple.top, which changes its y axis, equals 2000. So it just shoves it off screen for now. So, that's as easy as that, you can see it in the little thing there. Um, the only thing left to do is to call the function, which you've heard me say quite a bit. So underneath life here, we'll go down a bit, and we'll literally copy and paste collisions with its brackets. That's it. Seriously, that, that'll work now. So if we click play here, YouTube, videos, submit, game. And you can see we've got a character, blank inventory. So we bring our character up here, bring it down, and you can see it's collected. Oh my god. Right, that simple. Continue. Here's some homework if you wish, because if you like, if you want to learn, if you actually want to learn, you want to advance. So this is what I want you to do. Add more of these objects, so not just an apple, add a banana, add enemies if you wish. The more you add, the better. I'm not going to do it, but if you want to do it, it will help you. And then what you can do is set up the collisions, so if it hits, say, enemy, you lose health. Now think about it, you've got the life code here, it's right there. You will have to copy that bit there, the both of them. But all you have to do is put it in. 
you don't know how badly I really want to do it now. But my time's up, I'm afraid. So remember, enemy equals health damage. We will eventually make it so you can't walk through them, but not yet. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.